In this video, I'm going to talk about SMPS power supplies for DIY tube projects. An SMPS is a switch mode power supply. It uses the flyback effect to convert low voltage DC to high voltage DC. Flyback transformers were used for years in televisions and computer monitors to provide the high voltage to the CRT. An SMPS is an awesome choice if you are building a small tube project and do not want to spend the money, space, and weight on a high voltage power transformer and the rectifier circuit needed to make it work. If your project is an audio device like a preamp, guitar amp, or effects pedal, using an SMPS has the added benefit of less noise in the audible spectrum. An SMPS usually operates at frequencies above the range of human hearing. A transformer connected to the power lines in your house will generate huge magnetic fields at 60 and 120 hertz. These fields are in the spectrum of human hearing, so there will be noise and special precautions have to be made to reduce this noise. One option if you're looking for an SMPS for a small tube project is the Taylor Edge 1364. The 1364 is a horizontally mounted SMPS module. The pin spacing is perfect for installation on perf boards. This is the data sheet for the 1364. It can produce 200 volts, which is enough to drive the plates of a lot of different vacuum tubes. It can operate on a wide input voltage range from 2 volts to 16 volts DC. Wiring is simple for the 1364. It has two grounds that are connected together and to your power supply ground. The enable pin is connected to input voltage, which is connected to the power supply positive between 2 and 16 volts. The R adjust can be connected to the ground to set the supply to maximum voltage or the pin can be adjusted from ground to open to vary the output from 200 down to 150 volts. V out is the high voltage output which you connect to a filter circuit and your tubes. The bias adjust is never used and is to be left unconnected. It's best to have good filtering both before and after the 1364 as it needs clean input voltage and a filter can help to buffer the output. I use one of these in the PA1 DIY tube preamp project. Speaking of the PA1, the next video in the series, the virtual build will be out this Thursday. If you found this video informative and helpful, please like and subscribe.